Are you ready? Are you ready? Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. Happy New Year. This is the first video of the year. So I wanted to take the opportunity to wish every single one of you a happy new year with lots of love and blessings and good health, lots of wealth in every way. I'm just wishing you guys the best possible year ever and forever as well. Um, again, thank you guys for 10K. And you guys have just been so supportive and absolutely incredible especially my wonderful friend here on youtube coco Pets. she got this for me as a congratulations for hitting 10k honestly guys i couldn't be more thankful to this woman i am just i cried i literally cried like a baby when i received this because youtube don't give you a plaque until i think you hit 100k then you get your first one but she knows how much hit this milestone means to me and she was so thoughtful in getting this for me so thank you thank you so much i'm gonna stop because i can feel the waters welling up in my eyes this is amazing thank you guys once again for showing me so much love and support now as promised i said i was going to show you guys a few bits and bobs that i got on my birthday i don't really celebrate my birthday like that but my friends and family they decided to kind of gift me things and i gifted myself a couple of these things as well because i wanted to celebrate me a little bit um last year my birthday was last month by the way um so i just thought let me let me come here and share a few bits with you guys some of these perfumes are like repurchases because when i love something i absolutely love it and i would get it 10 times over if i could i'm gonna start with one of my favorite perfumes ever and this i I got in the um, Christmas sale and it was like 10% off, which is not that much, but it's still something and it's Oud Bouquet by Lancome. I always talk about this perfume. I love the bottle so much. You guys can see my dent. I am obsessed. Vanilla, praline, um, a little bit of Oud, but it's not like a loud in your face type of Oud. It's definitely there. And this is my new bottle, which I'm not going to open just yet. Um, until this is completely done then i've got this as my backup if i could get more i would have done but the moment i bought this it was sold out on selfridges i think it's available on harrods again now by the time when i bought this it was completely sold out if you are looking for a sweet introduction to oud this is the perfume to try out i kid you not this is such a masterpiece it is beast mode it is super duper long lasting i'm talking all day no need to reapply no need to overspray. people will smell you but you have to love a sweet perfume because this one is definitely a sweet one so that is oud bouquet by lancome next perfume you guys know is my baby and this is the nina exclusive by performs the mali i am obsessed with this rose perfume now the packaging of all of the performs the, the mali perfumes are definitely my kind of aesthetics it is so feminine so beautiful it looks amazing on my vanity and the scent in these perfumes are just so i can't even explain it like it touches my heart when i spray this perfume this is one of those perfumes when i'm down i kid you not guys i go to my perfume cabinet i open up the cap and i go sniffing i do that to quite a few of my perfumes when i need that boost that uplifting spirit this is one of those perfumes that does that for me another one that is beast mode performance it lasts and lasts most incredible even layered with oud bouquet if you have these two perfumes layer them together and please let me know what you think this perfume is everything and my new bottle is right here <laughs> again i'm gonna actually open this one um, in a bit because this is actually a very empty bottle of delina exclusive but I am not getting rid of this bottle i just want to have it and see how much i'm going to collect over the years so that is the lena exclusive by performs the mali so this next item is actually not a perfume but my goodness me it smells so divine i've spoken about it before in the past but i don't think anyone really paid attention and i'm saying it again now and this is bread um air oil now if you are thinking of what do i need this for first of all if you are someone who really takes care of their hair whether it's in braids whether you have wigs whether you have um, a sewing this is going to make your scalp 
feel so good and it's going to make your hair smell incredible think of strawberry sweets think of fruit loops think of the sweetest most subtle scent this is what this is my goodness me try this you can use this before you wash your hair you can use this to style your hair it's shiny it's incredible your man if he's got a beard can use this this is absolutely chef's kiss my second bottle i got mine from selfridges um i think this brand has been around for a few years but they are doing incredible things there's no affiliation anywhere i just discovered them on asos and i cannot get enough of it use it on your kids hair and i'm gonna stop now just get it it's amazing uh, so the next item is actually another perfume that i got myself and this is the fenty perfume and i'm sure you guys have seen this many many times before um now this perfume first of all this was launched in 2021 i believe and it's described like as a floral perfume and this is the packaging it came in this um, blue box i've tested this i think over 100 times no exaggeration um this is the box that it comes in it's just like a standard paper type of box nothing special nothing inside of it and i'm gonna chop that after but i just wanted to show you guys and this is the packaging initially when i saw this packaging it completely pulled me off the perfume because it just didn't give anything but the more i look at it the more i realize this is just meant to be a very simplistic type of packaging and i do like it it's not a love but i do really like it and now in terms of the scent the first time i smelled this i was just like what on earth is this i could not place this perfume i don't i don't know what to, i didn't know what to make of it i watched a couple of reviews online nobody was really saying anything or really going in depth as to how this smelled but last year i went into harvey nichols with my husband and i decided to smell it again when he smelled this perfume on me he was blown away i don't know if somehow that kind of influenced me as well but it did smell really really good now this has a lot of notes but the ones that really really shines in this perfume is the blueberry the rose and also the patchouli and musk and those notes especially the blueberry can kind of throw you off because it's definitely blueberry in for sure so you get that very sharp blueberry type fruitiness in the opening and it goes into the florals and then you get a very musky and patchouli dry down which i absolutely adore the only thing i would say about this perfume don't overspray do not overspray this perfume because it's a lot i sprayed this perfume again last night and i could smell it all over my sofa i smelled it on myself in the morning it is so long lasting and it projects incredibly well for me this is an all year round perfume. It's definitely one to try before you buy because it's definitely not blind buy safe. But do I love it? Yes, I do. I think it's a phenomenal perfume. I cannot believe I'm saying that because initially this was actually a no for me, but I love it now. So give it a try. If you've tried this before and you didn't like it, try it again. Like some perfumes grow on you. Some perfumes are like instant love. But this wasn't the case for me and i think it's the case for a lot of people people didn't gravitate to this instantly but as time went on i'm seeing a lot of people say they love this perfume and i certainly do so that is fenty perfume next is la vie abel la extract now i've spoken about this perfume last year and this was kindly gifted to me by manuela she is one of my most amazing amazing subscribers slash sister because she's so kind she sent this to me and i'm in love if you know me or if you've watched my channel for a while you know how much i hate i despise la vie abel yeah i didn't like the scent profile of la vie abel it just smelled quite bland to me um but this one really knocked me off my feet honestly this is like la vie abel but with oud and it's a little bit more refined it's giving a sweet scent for sure but that oud definitely cuts through and makes it a little bit more sexy. I just really love this perfume. The longevity is decent. It, I get round about six hours from this perfume. If you do want it to last longer, you could overspray. But I don't feel like it's one that I actually want to overspray. I think maybe six, six to eight sprays is good enough for me with this perfume. And I, I get a good amount of longevity from it. And, and it's a compliment 
magnet so that is la vie a belle le extract next perfume is Aper right here this was kindly gifted to me by Coco Pebs. I showed you guys this last year, but because it's a birthday haul, I might as well show you everything. This is one of the best hair perfumes I've ever had my nose on. This is intensely beautiful, fruity, sweet, soft, elegant, absolutely amazing. It lasts so long on me. It lasts for literally the whole day. I wore it to work on my first day back at work last week. And I was, I can't believe how much it filled up the space that I was at because people were coming up to me to ask me what I was wearing yet again. I'm the girl that smells really good in the office and this perfume is just so incredible. I highly recommend you guys get your nose on it. It's not as popular here on YouTube, which is part of the reason I like it because sometimes when things are hyped, I kind of, I'm kind of put off by it because I honestly don't want to smell like everybody else. Apart from when it comes to certain perfumes, I just can't help like the like the Baccarat Rouges and the, I don't know, Baccarat Rouge. It's the only perfume I smell on people all the time. Oh, and Black Opium. Ah, have you guys seen um, the new Black Opium in the red bottle? Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't like Black Opium anyway. I only like the Black Opium to perform, but I've digressed. A pair is incredible. Coco Pebs, thank you so much once again. I love this perfume. So next is a body lotion right here and this is by Femme London and this is Peregrina's body lotion. Actually, let me show let me show you guys what this really looks like. This is so luxurious. Isn't it just the cutest cutest packaging ever? I love Peregrina as you guys know. I've been screaming about Peregrina for the longest time. Literally when they launched, I bought it and I bought the Valentine's Day special. Um, they still have this, I think, on their website, but um, it comes in the blue, the regular blue bottle. It smells exactly the same, but this was like a dedicated bottle for Valentine's Day back in 2022, I believe. Um, this perfume is giving a little bit of an Arabian vibe. It really is. It's got caramel, it's got rose, it's got um what else does he have i cannot remember but he's got so many notes but what stands out to me is that caramel that oody type of scent but oud is not listed but i kid you not they put a little sprinkle of oud in this perfume this is so mind-blowing for me i feel like it's one that is not blind by safe unless we have the same taste don't blind by this but certainly go and smell it it's honestly worth every single penny in my opinion it's definitely going to be repurchased once this is done and the body cream smells exactly as the perfume it's very fragrant but i will say that the lotion is not as moisturizing so i, have, I actually have to add a body oil to make it a little bit more moisturizing but does it smell amazing yes it does so that is peregrina's body lotion now i know this next perfume you guys have been waiting for me to talk about it and here it is it is Passion de l'Amour by House of Siage. This was a gift from my sister and her husband. And let me let me let me let me show you guys the packaging first, and then we can talk about it. So I've already removed it, but I put it back in here just so I can show you guys what it looks like. But this is Passion de l'Amour. It's got Swarovski crystals on top of it, and this perfume is heavy. Now this is glass. This feels like some kind of metal. But this is way heavier than the actual um, bottle over here. Now, this perfume is a very sweet, fruity scent. Now, the fruitiness literally hits you in the face. I believe it's got raspberry in the in the opening and also raspberry in the mid. This has oud as well. It's a fruity, oudy perfume that in the first spray, I wasn't in love. I can't lie. I did not fall in love like I thought that I would. But when I waited, I think it was about 10 minutes. I was watching a movie with my husband and I just waited and something was just making me want to smell myself. And I was just like doing that to my hand over and over again. And I realized, oh my gosh, this is actually incredible. I love this. I love this so much. I'm just so obsessed. It is so long lasting way more long lasting than i thought if you like perfumes from perfumes like mula mula by byron's performance you are going to adore 
um, Passion de l'Amour. It's a beautiful scent. I feel like I can wear this one all year round, all season long, any occasion. Just not on, not just not on a daily type of perfume. Doesn't give me daily wear. I think it's a bit much to wear this every day, especially if you're going to work. Um, because it's quite strong and pungent, it could possibly offend depending on the kind of job that you have. For me, I don't really care to offend. I'm going to smell good and I'm going to smell how I want to smell. But it's one that I kind of keep for like date night maybe or just going out to like a, a event or something, like a wedding even. This perfume is beautiful. I hope to collect more cupcakes very, very soon. This is a fantastic introduction to the brand. So once again, that is Passion de l'Amour by House of Siage. So the last perfume is um, Camera's Kwawa. Kwawa. I think that's how you pronounce it, by Latafa. Now this, I'm taking this as a birthday gift, right? Matches my top as well. Because I want this on Instagram. So Coco Pep tagged me. She was just like, just enter. You never know. And I was like, look at all these comments. I'm not going to, I'm probably not going to win it. So she goes, just enter, man. So I entered. <laughs> and then... They um, narrowed down the, I think, top three, and then I won. And I was just like, what? This happened, I think it was a day or two after my birthday, or is it before my, I can't remember. But this was only sent to me. I literally received this about two weeks ago, and I started using it a little just last week. And when I tell, guys, when I tell you this is mind-blowing, this blew my socks right off. Now, I used to have um, the original camera, but I gave it away. I gave it to my husband's friend. He really loved it. Um, so I don't have camera anymore, but I will be repurchasing it at some point. But this, this, let me not even waste your time. This is better. This is better than the original. This one is kind of like, um, it's the original with a lot more caramel and coffee. That's what I, I get. So much caramel coffee like scent with coffee in this perfume my goodness i can smell it right now as i'm holding it i've not even opened it it smells amazing it lasts a long time it's very alluring very inviting it's very wow i would highly oh i would highly recommend this perfume so so much and those of those of you that have asked me to do middle eastern perfumes i promise you it's coming I promise you, I'm going to bring you literally the best Middle Eastern perfume list you have ever seen here on YouTube. I hope. <laughs> but this perfume is amazing. I love the packaging. It's supposed to be a dupe for Angel Share. I don't think it's an exact dupe, if I'm honest. This one doesn't smell that similar to Angel Share, in my opinion. I think maybe the original a little bit more because it's spicier. This one is giving more gourmand. It's giving more um sensual is giving more softer but it's definitely very powerful because this lasts for such a long time it doesn't last as long as the original i will say that i feel like that one is like literally super beast mode but this one is just beast mode like it still smells long um it still smells long for a long time and it just uh it's amazing it's a compliment magnet to me because my husband could not stop complimenting me when i wore this it's, it's just Phenomenal scent. Thank you so much, Latafa, for sending this to me. I'm so grateful. I will be wearing the heck out of this perfume. It is literally everything. So that is Kawa by Latafa. So we've got two more items to go. Um, so I got this Fenty Skin Trio. Um, I got this from Boots here in the UK. Um, I am in love with Fenty products, guys. I am obsessed. And this is gonna come in handy for my holidays this year because you don't I don't want to be carrying like big tubs of body creams and body lotions with me. So these are gonna be perfect. Now this trio comes in the original butter drop, which is like a cream to oil kind of consistency. This will moisturize your skin incredibly well. If you got dry skin, this is like their staple, they always have it. Um, this is a limited edition they bring it they take it away i don't know what's going on but this is the vanilla dream it has a little bit of a shimmer a shimmer to it i am in love i am obsessed i love vanilla this is a subtle clean smelling vanilla scent that just smells good it will make you feel good and it will moisturize the heck out of your skin i am obsessed this is the one that smells like cinnamon i still have like a huge bottle of this but that's how they all come 
this smells literally like cinnamon if you've got any vanilla or cinnamon perfumes in your collection you can layer this layer with this and you're gonna you're just gonna smell so so amazing so i'm really glad i got this i don't know if they've still got it if they do i will link it down below for you guys so and last but not least is my amina mohadi shoes my first pair <laughs> Uh, this is called the Lupita Crystal Silver Satin Shoes. I really love Amina Muhaji. Ever since I've, I saw her, I think once on Instagram, um, no, I saw Rihanna wearing her shoes and I was just like, oh, well, I'm going to need that one day. But the price is very pricey. Very, very pricey indeed. But I love it. I'm just going to show you one, one leg. So this is it. Guys, isn't that stunning? Is that not just the most stunning slipper you've ever seen? Even if it's not, I don't care. I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. I got me a size 41 because I normally wear size 40, which is, which is a UK 7. But I decided to get a 41 because I got like long toes, which is fine. <laughs> and I didn't want my toes to be gripping the ground. Do you know what I mean? Because I see people with that and just a little bit embarrassing but these are lovely they shine they are shiny shiny these are like my type of shoes and yeah that is the last item i'm going to show now this video is kind of long bear with me maybe i'm gonna speed it up a little bit just to fasten it up a little bit um so we're not here for too long but those are the items i got for my birthday i need to put this down so my lovelies, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching my birthday haul. Um, I'm going to share more um, perfume related content at some point. I don't know if I'm going to be back to my regular schedule because a lot is happening with my work, my kids. So I'll definitely be bringing a Sunday video, that's for sure. But I'll see what I can do during the week. I have been tagged to do a video which i'm excited to film and i'm just gonna like do videos as and when i'm able to but be sure to always check my community tab for any updates so if i'm not gonna put out a video i'll put it in my community tab um and if i'm gonna put out a video i'm also gonna put it in my community and i'm also gonna ask you guys what you want to see on my channel i hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i cannot Wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.